Like many nonprofits, times are tough for the Union Rescue Mission here in Little Rock. THV 11's Mercedes McKay shows us the drastic changes they've had to make while trying to stay true to their mission. Hayden, the Union Rescue Mission runs the Nehemiah and Dorcas House, two shelters that help men and women rebuild their lives. The executive director told me keeping their doors open is imperative, but it doesn't come easily. We need financial help probably now more than ever. A lot has changed since March 13th for everyone who makes up the Union Rescue Mission family. We knew we had clients with very fragile health, and so the first thing was that we went on lockdown. Meaning no new clients could come into the two shelters, which provide services to men and women who are struggling with drug and alcohol addiction or are in a domestic violence situation. Some of them, um, because of domestic violence or drug addiction, when they come to us, it is very common for them to have some pretty serious health issues that they're not, they, they haven't dealt with. Knowing the close quarters the clients live in, paired with serious health conditions, the shelters chose to shut its doors to others. We're not totally opposed to it if someone's in danger, but so far we haven't done that. Other changes include staff that don't live in the facilities working from home, no volunteers coming and going, donations left outside for 24 hours to be sterilized, and telehealth for individual and group sessions. All of that kicked in immediately. What we didn't really plan on was that it would last this long. <laughs> the nonprofit also had to cancel its 14th annual Night on the Street fundraiser, which normally brings in between sixty to $80,000. We were able to do some of it over the phone, but yes, it was a big loss of finances. The live-in shelters take care of everything for their clients, who are committed to change and were at a point of desperation before walking in their doors. Now, they need your help to keep these buildings as safe havens. Most of our clients have absolutely nowhere to go. The executive director says what they really need help with right now is their utility bills. So to donate, head to the website at the bottom of your screen. In Little Rock, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. The nonprofit's Happy Grace stores are still open and taking donations at their Sherwood and Benton locations. 100% of those proceeds go straight to the Dorcas House.